I think there are arguments. I mean, if you took it to court, there are arguments about the constitutionality of states having the right to cane women. Uh, I won't go into the details of that. I'm actually writing some, an article on it at the moment. But So there are legal arguments, but that's not the problem. The problem is not the legal arguments. It's when you have to take it to court, and then uh, people feel more... They're so afraid when it comes to the question of religion. Which is what your what your sayings are. I mean, um, I always say, and this is a joke, a huh? joke. Ph people don't don't be sensitive, all right. <laughs> my my I, I always say that uh, you know uh, for GE uh, fourteen after GE fourteen, uh, Barisa National didn't have a plan B, and Ph didn't have a plan A. And I think that was the <laughs> they didn't expect to win, but but. I think it is important as, 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 and I think they are working on it, to be fair. It cannot be easy, okay? But it, they cannot be silent either yes. when two women are being uh, whipped. When you have the child marriage issue, that's the other thing that really got me because it is unacceptable. It's a pedophile situation and everybody is giving, making excuses about why. You see, till now, have we heard of anyone being charged? No. Right. So there's just nothing going on. Is that the kind of society we want to be? Where we allow our 11-year-olds uh, uh, to be, you know, uh, hounded in this fashion for grooming to carry on? We have a legislation. And for this time, I actually sided with, with Amno. Heaven forbid. <laughs> but I did, because Azalina and all these people were actually talking sense. Azalina's the one who moved the, the uh, sexual offences against children legislation. But what's going on? Why can't we get our head around things that relate to the suffering of people, that relate to human dignity? What is the problem in saying it is not right? And I, I realized that some of those who came out, I mean, I'm very glad that Tumadir came out and said, Cabinet says this is not on. But some of the argument of some of the people was, oh, it wasn't so hard, it wasn't, they should have thought of other sentence, they should have, no, no. It shouldn't exist at all, okay? The idea was those two women were humiliated. That's what they wanted to do. That's what they did. And this society, the Malaysia Baru, has to reject that right from the start. Well, um, the caning happened in a past rule state, and I think they wanted to make a point. If you remember the case of Kartika, who was also sentenced to caning um, in the Pahang, yeah. Um, by the Pahang Sharia Court and we campaigned, the civil society intervened and campaigned very strongly and um, the caning did not happen. Yeah, um, It was Barisan national rule, the royal family was actually uh, you know, supportive um, of not um, implementing the caning thing. But this was a, pakat, um, a past government um, soon after elections wanted to stress its point. So the thing is uh, Legally, what they did, it's in the law, yeah? Um, you know, but yeah. we can question the mor moral and some legal questions as well. The fact that this was the first offence, the fact that they had pleaded um, not guilty at first um, and then changed. Um, so there were many, actually, there were many mitigating factors that could have been considered by the judge in not imposing the maximum sentence. Um, but because of the politics, because um, of, of a past government that wanted to show um, its point, you know, then they did it. And, and, and I must say that we are all in civil society very disappointed with the federal government, um, you know, for the wishy-washy going back and forth um, in terms of, of the position that it took. Because there are many things that it can do, it can commit to reviewing the Sharia Criminal Offences Act. In fact, you know, Sisters in Islam has called for the repeal of the Sharia criminal laws and that crime remains a federal matter and only federal government should have jurisdiction over criminal matters and it should not go um, to the state under Sharia criminal offences. So there are many things that the federal government could have taken, um, you know, instead of like going back and forth, you know, with its position and in a way like as if, you know, they're helpless when they are actually not helpless. So again, you know, this government really needs to have some clarity. I don't know who is doing the strategizing for them. Obviously, nobody is doing the strategizing for them <laughs> and the thinking for them on how do you deal with this issue of race and religion and Islam. And, and 
they need to figure that out you know how what kind of islam what is your vision for islam in this country and islamic law where is the compassion where is the kindness that is in islam um, you know how do you bring about an understanding of islam you know that's based on the principles of kindness of compassion of equality of justice all that is possible whether you have the political will to do it and spend, make the effort, have your team to really deal with these issues, yeah? Because the change is possible. It's absolutely possible, and you see this in other Muslim countries. And for me, it's just so sad that Malaysia, in 1984, had probably the best Islamic family law in the Muslim world, and now in 2018, you know, instead of moving forward, we have regressed because the federal government had allowed it, the leadership had allowed it to happen. You know, so we really need leadership and a public constituency that's going to push, you know, to ensure that Muslims, you know, I mean, the Muslims are being discriminated in the name of Islam in this country. We Muslim women in particular, yeah, are being discriminated, are worse treated, yeah, and our fundamental liberties and rights are far more restricted in the name of Islam. So that voice, in terms of building a more compassionate, just Islam, and those values exist within Islam, that voice, that narrative has to emerge. The signals have to come from this Pakatan Harapan government of the kind of Islam and the kind of rights, women's rights that they stand for.